Welcome to a lesson on the cardinality of the union of three sets. Remember, the cardinality of a set is the number of elements in a given set. For any finite sets A, B, and C, the cardinality of A union B union C is equal to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B plus the cardinality of C minus the cardinality of A intersect B minus the cardinality of A intersect C minus the cardinality of B intersect C plus the cardinality of A intersect B intersect C. This formula indicates the number of elements in A or B or C equals the number of elements in A plus the number of elements in B plus the number of elements in C minus the number of elements in A and B minus the number of elements in A and C minus the number of elements in B and C plus the number of elements in A and B and C. And let's see why this formula works. To begin, notice when we count the number of elements in A, we count the number of elements in A and B once here. When we count the number of elements in B, we count the number of elements in A and B a second time here. And of course, we only want to count the number of elements in A and B once, which is why we have to subtract the number of elements in A and B once, which we see here. Similarly, we count the number of elements in A and C once here. And then we count them a second time when we count the number of elements in C here. And of course, we only want to count these elements once, which is why we subtract them once here. And we also count the number of elements in B and C once here. A second time here. And of course, we only want to count these elements once, and therefore we subtract them once here. And now let's look at how many times we count the number of elements in A and B and C. Well, we count the number of elements in A and B and C once here, once here, and once here. So we count these elements three times here, but then we subtract them three times here. And of course, you want to count these elements one time, which is why we have to add them back in once. So while this is not a proof, hopefully it does explain why this formula works. And the process of adding in, then taking out, and then adding back in, and so on, is called the principle of inclusion-exclusion, or simply PIE or PI. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at applying this formula to determine the cardinality of the union of three sets. I hope you found this helpful.